Hello everyone, it's Apollo's birthday weekend and we are going to Orlando to start celebrating his birthday with have a few surprises for him. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really want to know, really want to know If I will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if sky We're gonna be staying in the Margaritaville Resort And if you look up in the driveway, you will see the first surprise for Apollo Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly we invite a few of his favorite people and doggies to celebrate his birthday weekend. We got one of the new cottages and they're a little different than the one that we stayed before. This one are like connected to each other. They're not individual houses. Also, this one, they don't have a jacuzzi in the back. We drove non-stop here, so we want them to stretch their legs, run, walk, also smell all the smells. Josh, you wanna come with me? Come on, Cece, let's go. You don't have an idea how much it bothered me that the painting is off center of the bed. I know it's insignificant, but it bothered me so much. It brings me so much joy to see Apollo so happy. That's why for this birthday, I wanted to surprise him with all his favorite people for the weekend. And even though it's Apollo's birthday, Venus also get all the attention as well. And she loves all the activities that we are gonna do. So it's like it's also her birthday. 
Sit. Yeah. Vivi, come here. This arm just come here, Venus. Sit. <laughs> Why do you have to be vocal? Good girl. <laughs> Hi Shrek. Shrek wants neither. Yeah. If you saw our previous video, you already know that we got a bottle for his birthday, a paddleboard. We are going to be taking him and the whole family on an adventure. It's like an hour and a half away from Orlando. And we're going to go paddleboarding and kayaking on the river. I have been wanting to do something like this for a really long time. But I didn't know where to go. Most of the state's park, they don't allow dogs to go inside the water. So I contacted a local company to give us a tour. I mentioned that we have dogs and they told me, they knew the perfect spot to do it. Even if you're falling down, Venus, the ball. That feels amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Venus, we're going in the paddle boards, not swimming. Good girl. The water was so clear, you could see directly the algae and the grass. It looked beautiful. I honestly want to come back again during manatee season. I'm pretty sure this is going to be so cool to see. I got to see an otter in the grass, but I was so slow to take out the camera that by the time I took it out, he was already gone. So I hope also when the weather is a little cooler, we could see more wildlife. The river, the deepest part, it was around 20 feet and the shallow area was around a feet and a half. So it's incredible that you could see all the way to the bottom. This is one of the more deep parts and you could see all the fish down there it was really cool and of course the dog loved it Yes. <laughs> Easy, buds. I brought mine with me. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. <laughs> 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 she is. She's normally talkative. She's very vocal. She talks back like she's a human being. Yes. Is it, is it going to get deeper than the 
this? No. No, is it? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> we had to stop a few more times to say hello to people. A few kids wanted to pet them. I did not record that part because I don't like to put in kids they are not mine on the internet so you're not gonna ever see me putting little children without permission we are here on a sunday so it was the weekend and summertime but i thought it would be more people to be honest we saw around 45 to 50 people more or less so there was a lot of people but it wasn't like super packed like you could see we have space to walk and we have space to do our own thing. Buddy, you cannot go up, you need to go down. <laughs> It was an adventure. I know somebody's gonna mention the alligator since we are in Florida. And yes, you should always consider any body of water in Florida to have gators, whether it's the river, the lake, a pool, a beach, they're always a gator. But this river in particular, the tour guide told us that the gators don't hang out here very much. She has never seen one in this specific spot. She mentioned that this area is more common to see water snakes as well as black bears but that they don't see very often any gators in this specific river. There's other rivers here in Florida they have over 10,000 of alligators so it really depends on the area but always have in mind that they could be a gator. If you ever encounter a Florida gator stay calm Keep your distance from it, especially try to don't do splashes right in their face. If you do splashes, they could snap. But if you stay calm and you avoid them and you give them their space, generally they will ignore you. However, if you're inland when you encounter a gator, if they start chasing you, which is very rare that it happen, you're supposed to run in zigzag or at least that's what they say in school here in Florida. Buddy. You know he's walking with his back feet. Mm -hmm.
Ahí está. Hay un octopus. Mira, ¿Oh? un octopus, papi, un octopus. Sí, mira, papi. Un octopus. Mira, ahí está. 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 Are you guys ready to go back to Miami?